Gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome into Arthur E. Staff Gymnasium for tonight's big three divisional matchup between the New Bedford Whalers and your Brockton Boxers. As always, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and tonight I am joined by a special broadcast partner, Chris Chubbick. Chris, a member of the Brockton High School Television Production Club, this is a big game for the Boxers. They come into league play at an even. Uh, on a, a bad stretch, but on an upswing. They beat the Holyoke Knights after dropping two straight in the Oliver Ames Holiday Tournament. This is a big game for the Brockton Boxers. Definitely, this can um, definitely help with their playoff hopes if they want to make the playoffs. They need to win their league in order to make the playoffs. And Alicia Fernandez with a three, and Brockton strikes first, three nothing for the home team. New Bedford wearing their visiting red jerseys, red shorts with white trim all around. Brockton, of course, in their home whites with red trim around the black numbers. Fernandez spinning inside, off the glass and in. Great move. And Alicia Fernandez with five points so far for the boxers. A minute in, it is five nothing. Brockton on top of New Bedford. Now a three is no good from number 24. That is Shiron Rose, the sophomore guard. Everyone's projected this to be a very good matchup. Two of New Bedford's starting five is on USA Today's South Division I players to watch. That is amazing. Jade Went now inside. Her little floater is no good. New Bedford comes up with the loose ball. One-handed pass in for Rose. And she's fouled on her way up, will be at the line for two shots. Foul called against Jade Wint for the block. Chiron Rose, one of the two players on that list. Makes the first free throw. New Bedford on the board, 5-1, and one for two at the line was Rose. Wint coming down with the loose ball. Jayla Smith now up to Elizabeth Williams. Now Williams trying to find some open space, works her way inside, overhead pass for Fernandez, who got stuck under the backboard. And Fernandez's putback attempt is no good, but out of play. Brockton ball, six minutes remaining in the first quarter. Elizabeth Williams to Neilani Montero, back to Williams. Now over to Jayla Smith. Smith to Fernandez, back to Montero. Montero hawks up a three, no good. And an offensive foul, a push called against Annalisa Fernandez. It remains five to one in favor of the boxers. Fernandez comes up with the steal. All the way in, off the glass, no good. Trying to force the rebound and getting tangled up with number 14, Janice Leo. A jump ball called. Brockton retains possession. Williams, the former center, turned point guard. In for Went. Went quick shot, no good. Fernandez with the rebound. Fernandez trying to get it outside. Another jump ball called, and this time it will go to the Whalers. Sharon Rose with it, top of the key. A rainbow three, no good off the back of the rim. The rebound to Neilani Montero. Quickly off to rebound 
uh, Williams to Fernandez. Fernandez, good move to create some space. A reckless shot, however, no good. Williams now up to Fernandez. Fernandez to Wint, but tapped out by Chiron Rose. Brockton will have a fresh chance to inbound. Wint now for three, too long. Rose uncontested rebound. 420 left in the first quarter. New Bedford has yet to hit a field goal. Out of play off of the boxers. Bedford will keep the ball. Number 15 thought about the three. That was Kiara Almeida Silvia. Now Leo just passed for Almeida. And a three is no good. Good idea. Sharon Rose coming away with the ball. Her spin around jumper, no good. Janice Leo on the rebound and great spin move. And spinning layup is New Bedford finally with one from the field. Elizabeth William comes up. And Williams to Jayla Smith. Smith inside for Jade Wint. Wint down low for Fernandez who has fouled on her way up. Fernandez will be at the line for a couple of shots. Josilma Montrand and Annalie Lorenzo getting ready to come into the game. Lorenzo with a huge game last week with five Threes. Fernandez makes the first one, looking to make her second one. That one comes up short. It is six to three. Brockton doubling up their big three divisional rivals, the New Bedford Whalers. A block for Fernandez. Montron coming away with it. Now Williams. To Fernandez inside for Wint. Wint spinning with it. High off glass, no good. Williams tipping the rebound out. And it will be a New Bedford ball. Hey, line your own. Line your own. Wait for it. Be patient. Come off your heart. Line up and make a good decision. So two and a half to go here in the first quarter as New Bedford's called for a travel. Brockton's going to look to hurry the ball. Montron to send it into Williams. Back to Montron now for Wint. Jade Wint, 16 points, 10 boards in the boxers' last matchup. Fernandez down low. It's ripped down by Leo and a jump ball forced by Jade Wint. Those are good numbers in a high school game. On the downside of that, Jade Wint did foul out with about four minutes to go in the fourth quarter of that game. Just imagine what her numbers would have been should she have played those final four minutes. As Fernandez hit a short jumper, it is now eight to three, boxers on top. Wint with the uncontested rebound. Two minutes to go on the first. Fernandez to Wint for a three. It is no good. Sharon Rose comes up with a loose ball. Now Rose, a weird pass attempt. Probably the only word to describe it, jumping up and almost throwing it straight into the floor. 
yeah, into the legs that. of Aaron Resendiz. Williams to Fernandez. In for Wint. Bad angle layup, no good. Almeida, Sylvia with it inside for Leo. Back out to Sylvia, her three, no good. Gets her own rebound. The perks are following your shot. And now three from the other side from Resendiz is no good. Leo tapping the rebound into the awaiting arms of Annalie Lorenzo. This one off a couple of boxers into the hands of Aaron Resendiz, the senior co-captain of the Whalers. Sharon Rose working her way inside is fouled. Foul. Montron called for the hold. Thirty-five point six to go in the first quarter. Eight to three boxers on top of the Whalers. So Rose too far in her first attempt. Tasha Gaylor into the game. And now my, quite possibly my favorite rule in all of high school sports, as Gaylor is forced to come out of the game because her undershirt does not match the color of her jersey. Now that's kind of ridiculous. It does match the secondary color of the jersey, so I don't understand why they have that rule. Gaylor's gonna lose her white sleeves. She's going to look to change here. Four second difference between shot clock and game clock. 24 left in the first quarter. Brockton will have a fresh inbounds, but still with 19 seconds on the shot clock. Good inbound pass. In for a win. Win spin around. Jumper is good. 10-3, the boxers are up. Sharon Rose as New Bedford looking to get the last shot of the quarter with 7.8 to go. Tipped off by Annalisa Fernandez. Rose is inching closer, driving inside, bad angle shot, no good. Grabs her own rebound and does not fire off a shot in time. So the first quarter ends, it is 10 to three. The boxers on top. Chris, what did you see in that first quarter? And New Bedford only with one field goal in the first eight minutes. What do they have to do to turn things around? Well, they definitely have to start knocking down their shots and start, they need to start performing better. Sharon Rose is definitely making an impact in the, within the game, but she needs to start knocking down her shots. Well, the player of the game so far, Annalicia Fernandez, eight points. And for the New Bedford Whalers, it is Kiara Almeida Silvia with the lone field goal. Fernandez adds four rebounds to that total. So eight points and four rebounds for Annalicia Fernandez. Talk about her importance to this Lady Boxers team. Honestly, her impact in this game right now is very important. Eight, qu eight points in the first quarter, that's... You can't get better than that. She's doing outstanding in this first quarter. If she keeps this up, the boxes are going to have a great win out this day. The first of three league matchups in two weeks for the boxers. On Friday night, these lady boxers travel down to Durfee in Fall River as the boys team will be here at Staff Gymnasium. And then next Friday night, the Lady Boxers travel down to New Bedford 
to face the Whalers. And that game, if Brockton goes 2-0 this week, will be for the Big Three Championship and the automatic bid into the MIAA South sectional playoffs. The boys' boxes, however, are ranked number two in Division One, which is outstanding. A couple of big games for the boxers. The boys boxers here at Staff Gymnasium next week, Tuesday night. They take on the Division II champions, the Brighton Bengals. Brighton coming in last year and destroying the boxers 99 to 49. Jesus. The final score in that one. And then it is the new look New Bedford Whalers boys team on Friday night, coached by Brian Rudolph a former standout Division I basketball player. A long three is going to be out of play, hitting that rope support that holds up the backboard. Going back to that next uh, week matchup on Tuesday, Brighton and Brockton, that's going to be a highly anticipated game. A lot of people are going to come to watch that. Very excited, of course, coach of Brighton, Hugh Coleman, one of the more animated coaches in high school basketball. Not only screaming and jumping around, but last couple of matchups. Thought he was gonna start throwing chairs from the sideline. <laughs> and to this day, he is the only other coach. As Sharon Rose comes up with a loose ball all the way in, he is fouled by Elizabeth Williams. Coach. Coleman is the only other, uh, the only basketball coach to make Bob Bowen, the coach of the boxers, take off his red sweater. If you can make that man take off his red sweater, you must have done something. Rose Nogut on her first attempt, it is Still 10-3 in a high scoring affair here at Brockton High. Good, five, 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 five. Rose, however, makes his second. Scores 10-4 with six minutes and 20 seconds left into the second quarter. Williams off the mark for Nelani Montero out of play. Rose working against Jayla Smith. Stopping, popping long two off the mark. Went the uncontested rebound. Her pass for Smith intercepted by Aaron Resendiz, or rather it's number three, Tisha Gaylor, who has somehow magically come up with red sleeves. She wanted to play really bad, I guess. <laughs> begs the question, was she wearing two undershirts? One red, one white? If she was, then she'd probably be very warm. Three for Gaylor, no good. And is now 10-6. Box on top, went uncontested, layup is good. Floater off the side of the glass. Fernandez called for the push. That is her second personal. As Rose finds herself at the charity stripe yet again. Now with the boxers only having three seniors, they really have a lot of players coming back next year. Actually, no, I'm sorry, yeah, no, Kelsey. Kelsey. Yep. Monica, you at 35. Casey, you got three. Kiki, you got 11. Sharon, you got one. Sharon Rose has made three of her free throw attempts out of eight. As number 20 for the boxers, Rebecca Tannis comes into the game. She replaces Annalisa Fernandez with 5-12 left to go in the second quarter.
Williams all the way in. Now across to Montero, in for Jayla Smith, off the glass and in. Great look for Jayla. Went comes up with the ball, it is loose on the floor, Rose. Sean Rose able to grab it, New Bedford ball. 14-7. New Bedford has clawed their way back. Four and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. A three is good for number 15. That was a great Kiara look. Almeida Sylvia. Little confusion on the floor as the refs thought New Bedford had called for time when that was A not the call. case. New Bedford only down by four. Annalie Lorenzo getting ready to come back into the game along with Montrond, the two boxers, sharpshooters from beyond the arc. Sylvia over to Gaylor. Gaylor with a floater no good. Jade Went with another rebound. Elizabeth Williams now slowing up. Is it tipped away by Gaylor loose on the floor? It's gonna be a jump ball. Substitutions come in now. For Brockton High, we have Montroud coming in, and we have Lorenzo coming in. And Alicia Fernandez getting ready to come back into the game as well for the Boxers, with Elizabeth Williams at the line for two shots, and Jamari Johnson is going to come into the game for Brockton as well. Williams missing her first attempt. Fernandez in for Tannis, Johnson in for Wint. And Gaylor is replaced by Resendiz. Misses both free throws. Fernandez with the rebound to Montron for three. Is no good off the back of the rim. Fernandez grabbing the rebound. Her bad angle spinning layup is no good. And Bedford comes up with this one as Leo. The junior center going to come into the game for the Whalers. Montron comes up with the rebound. Loose ball picked up by Sylvia. Sylvia's... Shot no good. Fernandez with the rebound. Up and down the court they go. Annalie Lorenzo, deep three, no good. Fernandez grabs it. Scores the easy field goal. Double digits now for Annalicia Fernandez. That is her 10th point on the night of the Boxers 16. She is responsible she is for the having first a game. eight. Rose working against Montron. Fernandez dribbles up the court. Loses it, gets it back. Runs out of Montron. Two is good. And a timeout called by head coach Jordan Pina of the New Bedford Whalers. It is 18 to 10, 219 to go in the second quarter. Chris, we've seen a swing. New Bedford's clawed their way back into it. As Annalicia Fernandez has 10 points and 10 rebounds. That is outstanding. A double double in the second quarter for Annalicia Fernandez. And she is having a night to remember. I would not be surprised if she breaks the 20 mark on both of those statistics. 
Her importance to this team is greatly, considering that she does have 10 of their 18 points already. Jade Wint coming in second in rebounds with four. Aaron, go through. And it's Sydney, Kiara Almeida Silvia. Five well. rebounds to go along with her five points. And for Leo, out for Almeida. And it finds its way out of play. with Williams to Fernandez off the glass. No good, Leo coming down with the rebound. Kiara Almeida Silvia, the sophomore guard. And a short jumper from Monica Iris. The junior guard is good, 18 to 12. A minute and a half to go, Lorenzo to Fernandez at the top of the key. Fernandez, three, no good. Lorenzo fighting for the rebound out of play off of Rose. So Brockton retains possession. Jade Wint back into the game, replacing Jamari Johnson. Wint to Williams. Williams to Montrond. Montrond in for Wint. Spinning crazy angle shot. It's out of play off of Brockton. Sylvia. It's Resendiz stopping and popping, almost traveling with it. Leo coming up with the loose ball, but she throws it right into the gut of Elizabeth Williams. Lorenzo calling for it. Fernandez inside, spinning, creating space off the glass and in. Great move. And Alicia Fernandez, 12 points of the boxers, 20. And Brockton leads it 20 to 12 with half a minute to go in the second quarter. Rose, long two, no good. Lorenzo with the rebound. On, off to Williams with the shot clock off. Now 22 seconds. Williams blows a tire. Now to Jade Wint. Back to Williams and Brockton's gonna call a timeout with 13.1 to go in the second quarter. And Annalicia Fernandez is on fire, Chris. She is on a tear right now, Matt. So it's 20 to 12, Brockton over the Whalers. In the first game of big three Divisional play this season. Brockton with three of the four divisional games in the next two weeks. Lorenzo to inbound, she finds Fernandez. Fernandez to Williams. Back in for Fernandez, four on the clock, Lorenzo, three. No good, comes up short, gets her own rebound, unable to fire a shot off before the buzzer sounds. At halftime, it is 20 to 12. The Brockton Boxers leading the New Bedford Whalers, Chris what did you see in the first half that went so right for the boxers? And what does New Bedford have to do to get their way back into this one? For the boxers, Annalisa Fernandez. 12 points already just at halftime. She is making a dominant performance in this game. For the Whalers, they need to figure out how to shut her down and how to get it so she's not scoring anymore. That's their, that's their biggest problem. 
It's 20 to 12, Brockton over New Bedford at halftime. We're gonna step aside, and take a short break, and bring you second half action right after this. Here's your check. Oh, you, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. That's a major key. Another one. Another. Mogul talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused, fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise, Louise, can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at getschool.com. So, I just moved in with his family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born, and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this, for his sake. Look at you. You're at the top of your game. At work or at play, you're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Oh, hey. She's cute. Nice going, man. Things are going great for you. You've earned a night out. Good drinks, good friends. Yeah, we can go ahead and call this a good night. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Not smart. Yeah, I saw that coming. Say goodbye to her. Ouch, that'll hurt your bank account. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. I hope you like eating frozen dinners alone. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Your daughter is having trouble learning French. Do you A, hire a tutor? Bonjour. B, enforce a French-only rule at home? Or C, watch some foreign films? When it comes to parenting, there are no perfect answers, but that's okay, because you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Teens in foster care will love you just the same. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for second half action between the New Bedford Whalers and the Brockton Boxers. The stars of the game for Brockton, no question about it, it is Annalicia Fernandez. 12 points to go along with 10 rebounds. And for Kiera Almeida Silvia, she has five rebounds to go along with her 10 points. Nilani Montero in for Jade Wint. Wint working against the double team of Leo and Rose. This one slips out of Jayla's hands. A little bit too high for the small forward. And Jayla Smith out of play. New Bedford takes over. 20 to 14. New Bedford was able to score one right off the bat to start this second half. Who's got 
Almeida, Sylvia brings up the ball. Passes it to Rose. Rose three is good. It's a one possession game, 20 to 17, New Bedford. Has clawed their way back into it. Elizabeth Williams to Wentz to Montero. Now to Smith, back to Wint. Now inside for Williams, out to Fernandez. Her three tipped by Leo. And New Bedford comes away with the ball. Rose pump fakes three times, now drives inside, no good. Leo one-handing the rebound out of play. Off of the boxers, and a good stop by Danny Steele, our cameraman down low, grabbing the ball with one hand. Rosendi's now another three, and this one's no good. Trying to give New Bedford their first lead of the game was number 23, Monica Iris. Smith finds Fernandez, her three is no good. Not a play off of the Whalers. Quick layup for Wint is good. Score now is 22 to 17 with six minutes left in the third. Almeida Sylvia three is short. Leo one handing the rebound to Iris. Now Resendi's with it. Back Pass it back to Iris. Now to Sharon Rose. Rose. Continually thinking about the three ball. Leo unable to get a shot off before the 30 second clock is up. Shot clock violation against the Whalers and Brockton takes over on downs. And a timeout called by Coach Connolly as Nelani Montero was being double teamed on a full court press. Twenty-two seventeen, five and a half left. Brockton will have the inbound after the shot clock violation. New Bedford turning the ball over on downs on their last possession. Five thirty-four to go in the third quarter. New Bedford has started to deploy a full court press. Five point lead for the boxes. Montero to inbound, looking for Fernandez, finds her. Now the football pass intercepted by Iris, intended for Smith. And Sylvia for three, no good. Montero able to get it to Elizabeth Williams who stepped out of bounds and New Bedford takes over now. Brockton has not yet seen a press like this on the young season. Leo with the catch and shoot and out of play off of New Bedford. Monica Iris stepping on the line. Went grabbing the inbounds pass now. Brockton able to break the press. Smith to Fernandez. Fernandez to Williams. Inside for Fernandez. Spin around. Jumper is good. She has 14 on tonight. 24 17. The boxers are back up by seven with 4.45 to go in the third quarter. Sharon Rose, three, no good. Catching the back of the rim. Now Iris to Zendis. And a hit is going to be called against Milani Montero. Coach Jordan Pino of the New Bedford Whalers said that's a hit before the ref blew the whistle. The ref said, yeah, I know what a hit is. It's kind of my job. 
Don't you hate when coaches try to do your job for you? There was a lot of that in the JV game before this one tipped off. Oh, yes, there was. Gretchen Rodriguez not happy with the officiating in that one. Aaron Rosendez misses both. Uh, Aaron Rosendez misses both free throws. Excuse me. Fernandez working her way inside. She had an open lane to the basket. Now Nelani Montero. Elizabeth Williams, Annalie Lorenzo going to come back into the game. Jade Wint. Miscommunication by the boxers. New Bedford ball while the ball goes out of bounds. <laughs> A lot of talk of non-uniform matching call them undergarments. Annalie Lorenzo forced to pull up her the legs on her compression shorts. They were below her knee. I'm not sure why they made her do that. They are white, therefore matching the uniform. Unless those have to be the opposite color. I see a few New Bedford players with white leggings as well. Halfway through the third quarter, Brockton up by 7, 24 to 17, the score. Tron Rose, losing it midair. Montron called for the hit. That is her second personal. Kelsey Martins, the junior forward, getting ready to come into the game for the Whalers. This Rose. Is the first attempt. Rose is not having a good night at the free throw line. Absolutely not. Six missed shots from the charity stripe. Trying Bedford. to find some space on the press. Intercepted uh, pass. If Wint waited another second, Lorenzo would have been open. Great Nola. misconception. No look pass by Kira. Made a Sylvia and a three from Rose is good. Fernandez to Lorenzo. Lorenzo thinking three, now takes it. No good, I think she was hit. Right. Wint brings Counted it Counted in, off. one for Jade Wint. A hit called against Martins. So Wint trying to make it a three point play, 26 to 21. The current score, Wint is no good on her attempt and Williams grabs the rebound as New Bedford thought that it was two shots. Fernandez down low off the glass and in. And a timeout called by New Bedford. This is turning out to be a great, I emphasize, great game for Annalicia Fernandez. So it's 28-21. Boxers on top. 16 points now on the night for Annalicia Fernandez. That goes along with 12 rebounds. Three oh four to go in the third quarter. Sylvia is going to bring up the ball. Passes it to Rose. Rose looks to do something with the ball. Rose trying to force it to number 15. Kiara Almeida Sylvia doesn't connect. Lorenzo three, no good. Fernandez with the rebound to Wint. Wint short jumper is good. Red 
Now Sylvia one handing it in. And jump ball called before New Bedford for, could call a timeout. Brockton takes over. Williams for Fernandez in for Wint. Wint spin around shot, no good. Gets her own rebound. And stepping out of play with it was Elizabeth Williams. Resendiz to Iries. Rose, Iris three, good. 30 to 24, your score, minute and a half to go in the third quarter. Brockton up by six, Lorenzo way downtown. In and out, and the rebound off of Jade Wint. Kelsey Resendiz, the sophomore guard, into the game, replacing Sharon Rose, who has had a night to forget here at Staff Gymnasium. Iris, Sylvia, a three for Aaron Resendi's no good. Fouled was Martins on her way on the putback attempt. Went called for the hit. That is Jade Went's second personal. Martin's no good on her first attempt. And 0 for 2. Grabbing the rebound was Almeida Sylvia. Her three is good. Almeida One. Sylvia is having a great game herself, too. <laughs> Elizabeth Williams off the kickball from Lorenzo as Wynn hits a layup. 32 to 27, five point ball game, 45 seconds to go in the third quarter. This one has turned competitive as Montrand almost comes up with a steal. Brockton at one point was up 10 to three. And New Bedford only had one field goal in the first quarter. 30 seconds to go, there's two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Williams holding on, trying to leave not too much time for New Bedford to drive down. Montron, three, no good. Went with the rebound, but an over the back called against Jade Went. As Rose comes back into the game, she replaces Kelsey Resendiz. 16 seconds to go in the quarter. Sylvia with it to Rose. Rose fouled by Montron. Montron called for the push. That is Jocelyn Montron's third personal foul, the fifth on well, the boxers in the young half. Rose missing again at the free throw line. Can you get me her full numbers from the free throw? Makes the second one. One of two at the line was Sharon Rose, 32 to 28, four point ball game. A half court Hail Mary attempt to no good for Elizabeth Williams, 32 to 28, the score at the end of the third quarter. Chris, this one has turned competitive between the big three divisional rivals and 
rather exciting if I do say so myself. I can tell you this right now, the last eight minutes of this game are going to be dramatic. Unless the boxers can pull away hard, this is gonna be a tight one, I can tell you that. The boxers are down in Fall River, the lady boxers I should say, down in Fall River on Friday night. The boys team, the undefeated Brockton boxers will be home against the Durfee Hilltoppers here on Friday night. We will have that one for you on Brockton Community Access. Big week next week for boxer sports. On Tuesday night, game everyone's talking about a rematch with the Brighton Bengals. Sharon Rose is five of 12 at the free throw line. The Brighton Bengals defending division two champions. And Friday night, the new look New Bedford Whalers boys team here at Staff Gymnasium. The way the boxers have been playing lately, that Brighton game is going to be fierce. Brockton grabbing big wins. The Oliver Rams holiday tournament. Beating Brockton, other Brockton High School, Cardinal Spellman in the championship of that tournament. In the first ever matchup between those two schools. Lorenzo grabs the loose ball and fouled by Resendiz. Or rather, they're going to call it on Kelsey Martins. And that was a very exciting game to watch the Spellman Brockton game in the first, again, ever matchup between those two teams. Brockton was up by 15 at the start of the second quarter and Spellman clawed their way back to tie it at one point as Leo comes up with a block. Brockton, the victor in that one is Monica Iries underhanding it to Leo. Leo takes four steps with it and is called rightly so for the travel. Williams comes up with the ball. And Alicia Fernandez. Working her way in, bad angle shot, no good. Gets her own rebound. Lorenzo, three, no good. A foul called against Leo, and the coach wants an explanation into that foul. Williams looks what to do for the ball. Pass it to Jade Wint in the middle. Jade Wint uses her left, gets her own rebound. Lorenzo thinking three, gives it to Elizabeth Williams. Good screen by Annalisa Fernandez. Fernandez now with the ball in the paint. Spin around jumper, no good. And Sylvia down. gets the ball. Foul on Fernandez. That puts New Bedford in a one and one bonus shooting situation. For the remainder of the six and a half minutes in this game. If Brockton commit three more fouls, it will be an automatic two shots for the Whalers. Good on her first attempt was Sylvia. Who is indeed having a great game. And two a two. Two point ball game, 32 to 30. Nelani Montero going to come back into the game for the boxers. Annalie Lorenzo, now Jayla Smith to Fernandez. Sylvia Inside has Lorenzo down low. Sylvia has definitely kept these Whalers in this ball game big time. Sharon Rose, Mark Iris, three, no good. Jade went three, rainbow shot is good. 
Five point lead for the boxers, five minutes and 50 seconds left going into the fourth quarter. Like I said, this is gonna be dramatic. Iris jumper, good. Back to a three point lead. Now Lorenzo inside for a went, went back to Lorenzo. Lorenzo driving, floater, no good. It will be a New Bedford ball. Janice Leo. Sylvia has 15 points on the night for the New Bedford Whalers. Looking to add to that total now. And Alicia Fernandez tipping the pass to Sharon Rose. Resendez. Resendez three, no good. Montero followed hard by Sylvia. Sylvia has 14 points correction. Jade Wint has 15 points for the boxers. Montero in for Williams. Williams off the glass, no good. Wint with the rebound, fighting against Jayla Smith. Wint up and in. Sean Rose, bad angle shot. Rose grabbing her own rebound. And no good on the putback attempt. She went with the rebound this time. Now in Alicia Fernandez went jumper, no good. And a timeout called by New Bedford as Chris Connolly thought that the boxers had forced a jump ball. Four and a half to go in the fourth quarter. It's 37-32 with the boxers up by five. And Alicia Fernandez now joined in the double digit point totals by Jade Wint. So Wint Last game, 16 points, 10 rebounds. 15 points so far tonight to go along with nine rebounds. I must say this was really a good game. This game is gonna again come down to who has heart and who has the determination to win. Rose could have been called for the travel. I thought I seen the travel. Brockton high up by three, 37, 34, four minutes left to go in the first. Fernandez three, no good. Went with the rebound to Nelani Montero, to Williams. It's Jade Went now as a double-double. Montero putting it up, no good. That makes two players on the Brockton High team with double-doubles. Three fifty-five left to go. Went to Williams. Williams some space now down low to Fernandez. Montero long two, no good. Fernandez rebound fouled on her way up by Monica Iris. Fernandez, no good on her first attempt. A couple of bounces on the rim. One of two at the line is Analicia Fernandez. 38-34, full point lead for the boxers. Three and a half to go 
What can the Whalers do? Three minutes and 30 seconds left. Tron Rose trying to jumpstart the offense, no good. Fernandez coming down with the rebound now, Elizabeth Williams with it. Williams spinning into a double team now. Fernandez spinning out to Montero, back to Fernandez, to Williams as Brockton quite content to waste some time off the clock. Fernandez went grabbing her own rebound off the rim, no good. And Alicia Loose ball. gets the rebound. Elizabeth Williams as the boxer offense resets. And Alicia Fernandez working her way inside. Down low to Jayla Smith, her shot blocked out of play by Leo. Jade Wint and Annalicia Fernandez have 17 points as Wint fouled by Leo. Jade Wint makes the first one. She has 18 on the night. Sharon Rose brings up the ball. Looking to spark this offense. Pass it to Sylvia. Five point lead for the Boxers, 39-34, 2.15 to go. Leo down low is so no close. good. Hung on the rim for more than a moment. This Janice Leo is going to be at the line for a one and one. Two seventeen to go in the fourth quarter. Brockton trying to hang on to that five point lead. for two at the line. Four point game with two minutes left. This is turning into quite the competition. Fernandez overhead pass for Montero intercepted by Sylvia. Sylvia in for Leo. Leo spinning around shooting no good. Jade went with the rebound. One forty-five now left in the fourth quarter. Jade went with it. Went three, no good. Irie's working her way inside. Out to Resendiz. Back to Irie's. Now for Leo down low off the glass, no good. And Brockton's going to take possession as Sylvia knocked it out of play. Brockton shooting 33% at the charity stripe. Fernandez coming down this one. Jayla Smith couldn't quite handle it. Now able to get it out to Williams, 1.15 to go. Sean Rose is assaulting Elizabeth Williams. Went to Jayla Smith. Smith to Went. Her three tipped. And a timeout called by New Bedford. 59.3 to go. It is a four point ball game. 39 to 35 your score. The Boxers are on top of their big three divisional rivals, the New Bedford Whalers.
want to take this opportunity to thank the cast and crew for tonight's festivities. This, of course, is a joint production of the Brockton High School Television Production Club. Headed up this year by Nick Halco. New Bedford is shooting eight of 17 at the free throw line. A lot of those misses belong to Sharon Rose. At the helm for the BCA side of things tonight, our fearless leader and director, Paul Mandeville. Of course, Mr. Halco is next to him in the truck along with four of his students. And up top we have Aaron Tebow, Danny Steele, and our chief statistician for tonight is Rose misses a floater. Grabs her own rebound up and in. Chief statistician Mike the Postman Simmons, yet another delivery to the viewers of Brockton. And you've been listening to Chris Chubbuck and myself, the Mad Dog, Matt Nelson. Jade went now in a two-point ball game. Annalicia Fernandez to Williams. Back to Fernandez. Williams. Williams working her way inside. Out to Wint. Annalie Lorenzo back in the game. Five on the shot clock. Now three, Fernandez puts up a prayer, no good. And the Bedford comes away with it, 12 seconds to go. Leo loses it to Jade Wint. And with eight seconds left, New Bedford's gonna follow, they do. Sharon Rose stops the clock with 5.6 to go. New Bedford's going to call a timeout here before the now one and one shooting situation. Coach Jordan Pina is arguing with something with the officials. There's 5.6 seconds on the clock. This one has been interesting. The leaders for the boxers, 17 each for Annalicia Fernandez and Jade Wint. 18 for Jade Wint, 17 for Fernandez, both with double doubles. Fernandez with 15 rebounds. And Wint has 12 boards. <laughs> Sylvia for the Whalers with nine rebounds. Leo with 10, 14 points for Kiara Almeida Silvia. And 15 points for Sharon Rose as well. Jade went at the line for a one and one shooting situation. New Bedford has no timeouts remaining. 5.6 seconds left, a one possession game as Jade Wint can seal it. Going two for two here. Hitting her first. Three point ball game. 40 to 37. And now Brockton's coach, Chris Connolly, is going to call a timeout. 5.6 on the clock, and the boxers up by three. Join us here at Staff Gymnasium on Friday night for the boys basketball team against the Durfee Hilltoppers. That game with a seven o'clock tip off. This Jade Wint will be at the line for her second attempt. A chance to seal the win here for the boxers.
Wentz two for two at the line and that puts the boxers up by two possessions, 41 to 37. Five seconds on the clock. New Bedford's gonna try to drive inside and draw the foul. Williams comes up with the block as time expires and Brockton holds out for a four point victory over their big three divisional rivals, the New Bedford Whalers. 41 to 37, your final score. A fantastic night for both Jade Wintz and Analicia Fernandez. 17 points for Fernandez, 18 for Wintz. 15 rebounds for Fernandez and 12 for Wintz. And when it came down to it, it was Elizabeth Williams with the block out of play. Coach, Chris, Chris. So 41 to 37, your final score. Brockton on top of the New Bedford Whalers as they take the first win of division play. And we are now joined by Coach Chris Connolly of the Brockton Boxers. Coach, a big win, a gutsy win. Two very big performances. Jade Wint and Alicia Fernandez. Talk about your team's performance here tonight. Um, I think they were really motivated that some certain girls that were playing in this game were ranked in the as the players to watch. I've uh, sent that out to them, and they went out and showed today that they're better. Coach, uh, coming off a, a pretty bad loss, going into divisional play, what does this win mean for the team going up against three big three opponents in the next two weeks? Uh, it, it means that we had to refocus. We saw a lot of things that we had to work on, and we worked on them, and the practice has been intense since then, and uh, it paid off today. Let's focus on your stars. Annalisa Fernandez, Jade Wint, double-doubles for both of them, 15 rebounds for Fernandez. Talk about their performances. Yeah, she came out on fire, um, and she never let up defensively, rebounding. Uh, same, same thing with Jade. She was missing some easy shots in the first half, and I think that um, everyone watching that knows Jade knew that they were gonna start falling in the second half. Coach, congratulations on a big win. Good luck on Friday against Durfee. Thank you very much. For everyone here at Brockton Community Access, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.